So I'm making an effort, though somewhat feeble, to try and make it through a lot of the, the movies that are going to be nominated or have been nominated for Best Picture or Best Drama at the Golden Globes and likely the Oscars as well. I've seen The Irishman. I thought that was a great movie. Um, maybe, in my opinion, not quite on the same level as something like Goodfellas or even maybe Casino in terms of uh, Scorsese's body of work, but really good nevertheless. Um, but tonight I caught The Two Popes on Netflix, and I gotta say, it is just a really well made, really beautiful, introspective, yet widely applicable to a lot of current issues that the world is kind of sifting through. A uh, movie that I think is gonna generate a lot of uh, discussion, and has generated a lot of discussion, I think and could very well walk away with some awards, um, especially in terms of Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price and their portrayals of uh, Benedict and Francis uh, as popes. And so if you haven't seen the movie, it's certainly worth your time if you have a Netflix account. Um, it's a little over two hours long, and going into it, I thought it might be a little bit dry. It might be a little bit slowly paced, a little bit uh, meandering. But the movie really works best when these two popes get together and have discussions uh, that tackle a variety of different uh, topics that, again, have application to the world that we currently live in. Um, and sort of the evolution of those discussions that they have uh, is what makes the movie great. And so, you know, you kind of start with this dichotomy where you have a really conservative and traditional pope. Uh, and Benedict conflicting with what it is that Francis uh, sees as, in terms of the world and how he fits within the world as someone who uh, sees the role of God as to help the poor uh, and to focus on the poor and to help people uh, find love. And so uh, that, that split between their personalities and their approach to how they lead the Catholic Church is really interesting. And you know, full disclosure, I'm Protestant. I don't really have a whole lot of uh, background with Catholicism and sort of the, the Vatican and what I a lot of times sort of see as the opulence of that. And I've always had kind of a hard time with that and understanding how that in any way, shape, or form uh, mirrors what Jesus would want. But um, this movie, I think, digs down into that question uh, pretty deeply as well, especially with what it has to say about Francis and how he views things. You know, he's a cardinal and gets that, I guess, papal name uh, once he gets to that role. But uh, this is just kind of a quick review to say that it's a really well-made movie that I was pretty blown away by. Um, the directing's great, the cinematography's great. Uh, again, the acting is fantastic in it. And it's not so heavy that it's difficult to digest. You can sort of sit down, uh, you know, and make kind of a two-hour uh, evening of this and not be uh, expecting, or not have to expect, I should say, something that's going to be so heavy and so weighty that you're going to walk away from it just feeling um, like there's so much to process that you don't know what to do with it. And so uh, I kind of appreciated what this movie is. Um, it's a really layered affair, I think, for lack of a better word. Um, and there are some moments in it that I think, you know, when it goes into sort of the, the history of Francis and sort of what it is that impacted his views on the world, that it maybe kind of strays into sort of this, this uh, potential realm of being a little bit uh, long-winded, but it never really does that. I think everything that's included here needed to be included here, and it makes it a great movie. So, you know, it, it's kind of hard to summarize you know, much more beyond that without getting into sort of the nitty details, but it's one of those things that's just best experience, like any good movie, I guess you would say. Um, it's funny, it's witty, uh, and it has a lot to say, a lot to say again about philosophy, about religion, um, and about the doubts that I think a lot of us have and how we sort of wrestle with those and how people of faith respond to that and how uh, that kind of shapes the world or should shape the world is a good way to look at it. So. I would highly recommend it. Um, again, this is just a quick review, but if I had to give it a score, I kind of want to say a 10 out of 10, which is a rarity uh, for me. Um, but it really is hard to find anything to fault in this movie. It, it does its job really well. Everyone who's in it plays their part really well. And I think, again, it's going to garner a lot of awards when, when we get into that season, which I think is this weekend. I think the Golden Globes begin this weekend, if I'm remembering correctly. So I think at the Oscars, too, we're going to see that. So Netflix is having a banner year uh, between Marriage Story, which I haven't seen yet. I can't bring myself to watch that because I don't, I don't want to sit and watch a movie about a divorce, you know, 
on a weeknight or even a weekend, that's going to be kind of a heavy slog, I feel like. But I'll probably watch it too just because I'm making this effort to, to get through the awards stuff. Between The Irishman, Marriage Story, and The Two Popes, Netflix is, is doing really well right now. But definitely check it out. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.